all right so um, we need to understand one thing you have to accept this every human every individual will have an innate need to socially or socially connect because see human beings individuals they are by by nature they are social beings all right so connecting with the society connecting with uh with your known ones connecting with your dear ones connecting with your friends making friends trying to make healthy meaningful relationships trying to connect in your workplace try trying to connect in your neighborhood all of these things are quite innate in nature every human being every individual in some way or or the other they will have all of these needs all right and the innate need of an individual to connect socially all right it has been already understood defined discussed by popular very common popular psychological theories one of it one of such is abraham's or abraham maslow's hierarchy of needs another one i think is the humans uh, humanistic or what you call the what you said the humanistic humans given approach the humanistic school of psychological thought it has clearly laid that yes the emotional mental happiness of a particular person will definitely matter when it comes to that individual's satisfaction when connecting with his or her society like overall social life this is one very important innate needs so also we have to understand professionally personally like in today's world a person cannot just lock himself or herself in one particular room and try to work and try to be a a, a success it doesn't it will not happen because whatever a particular person is working on he or she has to publish he or she has to spread their work their information their knowledge their talent skills to the outside world so social influence is very very important in a particular person's success how a particular person is able to successfully inspire influence their society in a positive in an optimistic way so social connect social influence ability to be socially active it is all now a part and parcel of an individual's personal as well as professional life okay let's not even go to personal because personal life i don't i that is again a separate topic but at least for professional advancement for professional opportunities social connect social influence is very very important all right social influence plays a major role in spreading an individual's voice strengths values and individuality among the masses thus again i am repeating the same thing an individual's ability to positively influence their society is absolutely essential in determining how much success that individual will be all right so if i want to use two pointers or if i want to use two factors which will you know which will matter 
or which will decide and individuals is quality and success when it comes to their social influence what are these two factors one is capability in social awareness and number two is the quality and the capacity to socially connect these two factors plays a very very huge and important role all right and also you have to understand it is very important to create healthy meaningful optimistic positive relationships and connections i'm talking about professionally i'm not even going personally personally also it is very very important but i'm just trying to under, make you understand about professional advancement and professional success so in that area also meaningful connections and meaningful professional relationships matters but it has to be meaningful it has to be optimistic because whenever you are surrounding yourself with people to whom you are positively meaningfully optimistically connected it will boost your emotional and mental health on the contrary if you are surrounding yourself with people who does not have a meaningful connection with you who whose connection with you is meaningless it is pessimistic it is negative this will take a negative toll in your emotional and mental health so this will be very very disturbing for you so that is the reason why the more you create and associate yourself surround yourself with healthy connections meaningful connections optimistic connections the more impactful the more meaningful the more successful your social influence will be so with that in mind keeping that in mind i want to share with you a very very important knowledge which will help you which will enable you to create more positive healthy social relationships relationships with your surroundings it will help you to create positive relationships it will help you to foster maintain positive healthy meaningful relationships and this knowledge you have to keep in mind it you have to operate from this so what is this knowledge i will share with you seven caring habits which you must abide by which you must follow completely sincerely that is if you want to create maintain nurture your social connections and relations relations in a positive way in a healthy optimistic way so these are the seven caring habits you must operate from and also i will be sharing discussing with you seven deadly habits that you should never operate from that you should always consciously as well as unconsciously avoid that is while you are trying to maintain foster or even create connections relationships all right so what are these seven caring habits the seven caring habits that you should follow are you need to be supportive number 1 you need to be encouraging of others this is two number 3 is you need to listen to others properly others should know that you are listening to them you should be always listening to other people this is number 3 number 4 is you should be accepting of others with their flaws and imperfections number 5 you should be trusting of others 
you should trust others more and you should also develop this habit so that others can even trust you more number six you should always be respectful of others number seven even if there are differences you should always negotiate differences all right you should never be running away because there are differences negotiate them accept them all right so these are the seven caring habits that you must follow and that you must operate from now what are the seven deadly habits that you should must avoid number one criticizing others number two blaming others number three complaining others number four nagging others number five threatening others number six having an attitude of punishing others number seven bribing others or trying to control other people by giving them rewards so these are the seven deadly habits that you should always avoid and never ever operate from all of these seven deadly habits so these are the seven caring habits and the seven deadly habits for your reference for your knowledge for your learning all right so this is what i wanted to discuss in this particular video it was completely dedicated to the topic and to the importance of how you can improve and how you can enhance your social connect all right i hope you utilize today's video today's learning to your fullest all right in an optimistic way in a very positive way okay i wish you well thank you have a nice day take care be happy and be wise